Hey guys, uh, so you've heard from some awesome companies in robotics and cannabis and television. So as Patrick mentioned, as the last company presenting, my job is to get you all excited about insurance. Um, so I'm Zach, I'm the co-founder of Bungalow Insurance. At Bungalow, we're using design and technology to modernize the online insurance experience. And we started Bungalow to deal with a very simple but very real problem that exists in insurance today. Namely, buying insurance online sucks. Customers want to be able to come online and buy a policy quickly and easily, but carriers have underinvested in this important functionality and failed to deliver the experience the customers want. In addition, if you look at the next generation of insurance customers, they look a little bit different from our parents before us. Where carriers today have been brought up on selling homeowners and automotive insurance, people today look a little bit different. Two thirds of millennials rent versus own their homes and 55% of them don't own cars. That means there are 30 million people under the age of 35 for whom renter's insurance, not homeowners or auto, renter's insurance is the only insurance product they're gonna need. And because of that, we actually think renter's insurance is the way into the overall insurance industry. 70% of renters think renter's insurance is a good idea to have, but only 37% actually have it. This 33% gap represents a $3 billion annual uh, premium opportunity, and it's why we think that renter's insurance is actually supportable as an industry in and of itself. In addition, trends are actually moving toward widespread adoption of renter's insurance. This 37% is growing rapidly. Where 10 years ago, 5% of renters have rent had renter's insurance, that's up to 37% today. That's driven primarily by the amount of property managers who are requiring renter's insurance in at least one of their buildings. Where 10 years ago, 18% of property managers required renter's insurance, that's up to 84% today. And you're gonna see that trickle down and you're gonna see higher renter's, in renter's insurance penetration rates over time. So before I talk about what we're actually doing better at Bungalow, it's worth explaining a little bit about how renter's insurance has historically been sold. You've got countless insurance carriers that are undifferentiated, selling a relatively commoditized product to countless people who don't really understand what they're buying or how to get it. And as a result, carriers have historically relied on two main distribution channels, insurance agents and more recently direct to consumer. Unfortunately, these have largely failed to deliver the experience customers want. Insurance agents haven't been able to keep up with changes in technology. You have to work around their office hours, and they require things like phone calls and faxes, which people our age don't like to deal with. And direct-to-consumer has been great because they sell insurance online, but you're mired down by 35 complicated pieces of information that most renters don't know, stuff like what construction material is your building? Is your fire alarm hooked in directly with the fire station? How far are you from a fire hydrant? These are, these are things that customers today don't want to deal with, and we thought that we could do better. And this is what we've built. This is live now at bungalowinsurance.com. We've created a really simple, well-designed platform where customers can come online and get a quote in less than five seconds. So you can actually come to our website, type in any zip code in Pennsylvania or New York right now, and you get taken to a simple policy selection page, which gives you the, the information that you need and the, the stuff that you care about, like coverage and price. We've had customers come to this website and select a policy for three to four dollars each, which is among the best in class. We've also built really exciting partnerships with companies like Travelers and Chubb. This is really, really tough to do in the insurance industry. Carriers do not historically appoint startups to sell their insurance product. We, it took us almost a year to get to the right people at Travelers and the right people at Chubb. But finally, we're, we're able to actually sell insurance throughout the 50 states. Uh, and we think this partnership is actually a big competitive advantage for us because again, they do not appoint startups historically. So how are we actually gonna get this product in front of customers? Well, in the long term, we actually want to build a brand as the renter's insurance provider of choice. Much like people think Geico, they think auto insurance, we want people to think bungalow and immediately think renter's insurance. But we recognize that building a brand in the insurance industry is time consuming and sometimes costly, which is why in the near term, we're actually distributing through channel partners. These are people like property managers, property management software providers, rent payment processors, who's your landlord. Uh, we're, we're actually using these to reach renters at scale and allow us to lower our acquisition costs and get our product in the hands of customers while we build our brand out. So this is one of those integrations that we're actually building right now. This is with the largest rent payment processor in the country. And what we're doing is we're taking their existing rent payment software and we're adding a simple checkbox. This, allow, this minimizes the friction to actually purchasing and allows renters to add renters insurance to their monthly rent for something as simple as checking a box. Essentially what we've done is we've taken these 35 pieces of information and we've turned renter's insurance into something as simple as hitting a button, which we think is really exciting and is actually gonna minimize the friction to purchase. 
And as we look at growing this business and scaling, we think we have a business model that actually allows us to reach a, t a bunch of customers at scale and at low cost. So the way our business works is we earn $30 in commission from every policy that we sell, and we outsource most of our expenses. So we don't handle claims handling, policy administration, servicing. We outsource all of that. So our only expense is customer acquisition, and we're actually baking into our contracts an acquisition cost of $10 to $15 a customer. This means that the remainder is pure contribution margin to us. And by the way, every time a renter renews, we get annual commissions. So any year past year one, we get $30 a year in, in basically profit to our business. We think that's really exciting. But what we're even more excited about is that not only is renter's insurance supportable as a business in and of itself, we think there's a huge opportunity to go after the larger insurance market as a whole. Insurance agents pull down 60 to $70 billion in commissions every year, billion with a B. And this, these are people in their offices, taking inbounds, taking phone calls, and not adding a lot of the customer experience the customers today want. We think that by building out our brand as the renter's insurance provider of choice, we can actually enter the market and grow with our customers over time by continuing to deliver their evolving insurance products. Because of this, we think our average customer lifetime value is in excess of $1,000, assuming that we can convert a small percentage of those to homeowners, automotive, or other insurance products down the road. Now, the insurance industry is very competitive and executing is difficult, which is why we think we have the best team for the job. My co-founder Tom Austin and I have a collective 10 years of financial services experience. Tom is running our marketing and design. He's got years of experience in consulting and helping small businesses build their customer acquisition strategies. I used to work in private equity where I covered a number of industries, including insurance, and actually have some experience looking at starting an insurance agency. We've also developed a team of advisors with a collective 90 years of insurance experience who've helped us navigate some of the unique pitfalls of the insurance industry. We've had great progress since we've launched. We launched our pilot program in February, and since then we've sold over $3,000 of policies direct to consumer. But what we're really excited about is that we've actually partnered with 3,500 units worth of channel partners demand, which means that when the moving window hits in May, we're gonna have access to a bunch of turnover and actually be able to distribute our product to these new renters as they move into their units. We've also had a number of other achievements which we're really proud of. We've been funded from Dream Adventures and First Round Capital's Dorm Room Fund, and we're actually finalists in the Wharton Business Plan Competition, which is at Wharton next Thursday, April 30th, and we'd love for you all to support us there. So if I leave you with one thought, it's that there have been other companies in the financial services industry who've been really successful by building a well-designed front end on what's historically been a clunky, hard to understand process like financial services. These are companies like Simple in the banking industry, Venmo in the payments world, or Oscar Health in health insurance. These are people who through design and technology have been able to modernize their industries and their brands have resonated with millennials. We plan to do the same thing with Bungalow and we'd love to talk to anyone out there who's excited, as excited about insurance as we are. Thank you very much.